Hey guys, it's Mr. Stark. So in the previous video, we had a uh, kind of a brief description of this M221 controller and uh, you know, kind of seeing how things got to get wired and this, that, and the other. When we uh, teach our academics, we have to realize that we're gonna have to understand how to connect circuits. We have to be able to wire the PLC. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna get this in a PDF form and you'll be connecting the dots or connecting the circuit, so to speak. So if you take a look at this basic layout, and this is gonna change depending on what type of circuit you're actually wiring. But what you're looking at right now is a direct image of the controller that's in the Waterbury lab. Now, your lab may be a little bit different, but the concept is exactly the same. You just have to be aware of what your components look like because you will be using the same components. It just might be laid out differently. Now, I have my PLC controller and I have a terminal strip on the top and a terminal strip on the bottom. And you'll notice that there's wires that are already wired in and they're already wired in. And this is the base setup of this controller. There's the PLC, wires are wired in, wires are wired in. That's basically your pick control panel. The field wiring is what you do. The field wiring is the circuit that you make happen, in which case you'll be coming off of this other side of the terminal strip and this side of the terminal strip for your outputs. And it depends what you're using. So you might have a stop start button, a stop start and a forward reverse, and a terminal strip for indicator lights and another terminal strip for indicator lights. And you'll notice this terminal strip says 120 volt indicator lights this terminal strip says 24 volt indicator lights, and they also, they also have a point where you can steal that power source as well. That's actually represented by here. So we've got 24 volt uh, terminal strip with uh, the ability to pick up your indicator lights for outputs, or the other side, which is 120 volt terminal strip that you can pick up indicator lights depending on what you want that output to be. So this paper represents the trainer. It also has a stop start, stop start, forward reverse in the side. And I kind of put that in here so that you understand that you have that capability. Our, our mission before we even attempt to wire anything on the PLC is to understand how to take 12 volts into a switch by drawing a pencil line nice and neat, how to come off of, an, of your switch back to an input and understand the sequence of operations because you're, you're gonna need to simulate this circuit by pressing buttons. They may not be just stop start buttons. They may actually even be single pull switches that we're gonna put in here to represent pressure switches, float switches, solenoids, overload switches, uh, temperature switches. There's a variety of different things we could simulate with single pole switches. So we'll be putting them in there and wiring them coming up into the box and then picking up our wiring in the field. We may also attach relays to this DIN rail for more added function to the circuit if we need a relay for whatever reason. So very versatile, uh, very capable of being able to do a huge variety of projects and uh, but be aware that this paper the basic layout will always be here. You'll always have your inputs and outputs that you have to draw and connect, but you may have a different set of switching or input uh, pictures on this side. And every project will have this. You'll be required to draw it. You'll be required to make the program on the computer. Then you'll be required to take this drawing that you have once the instructor has verified that you have it drawn in correctly. Then you could put your wiring in here and then go to town and simulate. It's actually quite fun when you get into it. So another introductory video on what's to come. Thanks.